And not to mention the relationship between the mouth and the brain. But there is also when it comes to depression, anxiety, can you explain a little bit? Because people I think know about the gut brain connection. I would imagine it's similar given that it's a, it's sort of tied to the microbiome. So the basics is every disease is inflammatory. Whether it's cancer, whether it's cognitive function, whether it's diabetes, whether it's cardiovascular disease, whether it's periodontal disease, it's inflammatory. So if we have an inflammatory process going on in the mouth, endotoxins of the bacteria, and there's seven pathogens, the leading one is called P. gingivalis, PG, those endotoxins works its way into the superhighway called our blood system, our circulatory system. Now, if the mouth goes, the pathogens go through the blood system and also through the gut, you can think of the triangulation that happens between the mouth, leaky gums, to the gut, then leaky gut, then to the brain. So what is that bug that ends up in the gut, that ends up in the amyloid doing? It's causing inflammation. And these small little vessels that are getting blocked and all these problems with cognitive function and Alzheimer's, 